hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl adriana bc today's video i'm gonna be giving you guys my top 10 cozy fragrances in my perfume collection this video was inspired by how dreadfully cold it is right now in the united kingdom it is cold it is freezing it is effing cold you guys it is so dreadfully it is brutally cold it is morbidly cold right now in the united kingdom and i was like you know what I've been craving not only just craving fragrances that make me feel warm and cozy i've been eating like m ms every day i've been drinking wine or alcohol every day it's just you know i have been craving things to kind of soothe how unbearably cold it is right now and i decided to give you guys my top 10 cozy fragrances in my perfume collection that i think just makes you feel that pretty much feels like a nice big hog that just you know that makes you want to smell your sweater smell your jacket and just cuddle up cover up in your sheets in your bed you guys so if you guys are interested in seeing my top most cozy fragrances in my perfume collection definitely sweater weather appropriate then by all means keep on watching if you guys are new here please don't leave the hitting that subscribe button make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time i upload and for those of you who are my returning subscribers thank you guys for your continuous love and your support so let's just get into it so first up we have camera kawa by latafa and this is the most newest release from latafa in the camera range because i presume we are going to be getting you know some flankers in the camera range it's definitely worth it you guys because this is a very popular 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 fragrance and popular dna this is a beautiful lightly spicy boozy praline cinnamon there is some cardamom and some ginger in this one mixing with some coffee and of course some vanilla and some tonka bean something so cozy so warm sweet intoxicating about this beautiful perfume it opens up quite quite similar to the original camera you do get slight hints of the of the cardamom in here so and then of course you get that sweet praline i think there's some fruity notes in the heart of this one mixing with that you know dry almost milky lactonic you know coffee essence to this beautiful scrumptious smelling perfume when I first smelled this fragrance, the first thing I thought to myself is that this is a very cozy and warm smelling fragrance, you guys. And it is most definitely one of the most coziest fragrances in my perfume collection right now. So I am happy to have this scent. I am absolutely, absolutely, absolutely obsessed with this, this perfume. And I think this is definitely a comforting fragrance, a sweater weather appropriate scent to wear during this time of the year. So this is Camera Kawa by Latafa. Next up we have Lumiere Blanche by Olfactive Studios, you guys. And this is essentially a, a spicy, sweet, warm, powdery, almondy, musky, and irisy smelling perfume, you guys. It opens up quite spicy. There's some cardamom and some star anise in the opening. There is some almonds. There's some musk. And of course, there is a creamy, warm sandalwood in the base. A lightly fresh fragrance. It's, a, it's like a fresh, cozy, warm scent in my opinion. The very prominent cardamom note in the opening with a nice dose of sweetness you guys this is a beautiful perfume fairly new to my collection but when i smelled this perfume it smelled like a baby powder it smelled like a warm cozy sweet baby powder on the skin and it just gave off a very like um it's almost like a bedtime scent it just smelled very cozy and very enveloping in my opinion and so i think this is a this is definitely a beautiful scent that you want to wear on a netflix and chill type of night on a movie night when you cuddle up you know perhaps in front of the fireplace watching a movie something of the sort or just in bed just chillaxing with your partner or whatever a nice chill out night when you're laid up lounge wear or something like that this just puts me in a very relaxed mood in my opinion and i definitely think this is a cozy and confident fragrance to wear during the cold and bitter winter months you guys so this is lumia blanche by olfactive studios next up we have calamat by arabian oud and this fragrance for me is the epitome of sweater weather you guys this is another fragrance that features that lovely note of star anise so we have a nice beautiful warm ambery sweet opening to this fragrance there is some cashmere wood some honey and some musk in a simplest form this is a warm cozy middle eastern feeling beautiful fragrance you guys it has like a um 
a musky woody essence you get like the cashmere wood in here so so this definitely has like a very cozy almost smoky woody you know middle eastern feel with a nice sweet dose of star anise in the opening with a very generous dose of honey and you get the musk in here so this perfume is by far one of the most comforting fragrances in the entire list of fragrances i'm going to tell you guys about it smells like you know a giant big wool sweater sweet warm very comforting and again i want to say this cashmere wood i think there's some cashmere wood in lumia blanche as well cashmere wood musk and sandalwood give me a very creamy cozy and warm feeling in fragrances i don't know if i just associate cashmere with the actual sweater and just tell myself that it's sweater weather but something about cashmere wood and fragrances give them a very cozy warm and creamy feel to the fragrance beautiful perfume by arabian oud that i think is the epitome of sweater weather in my opinion so this is calamat by arabian oud next up we have another fragrance featuring that beautiful note of cashmere wood and i'm talking about vanilla oud from the oudgasm collection by kayali and this is a beautiful is by the way this is my scent of the day okay this is a beautiful sweet warm almost milky cozy vanilla fragrance with a light dose of oud there's some cashmere wood there's some sweet praline there is some rose some vanilla sugar and some white musk but essentially this perfume it smells like oh god it smells like a sweet creamy and almost lactonic powdery praline essence it has somewhat of like a similar feel to it it smells powdery creamy a little bit milky even though there are no lactonic notes listed in here something about the praline reacting with the vanilla sugar and of course the white the white musk and the cashmere wood this is a very cozy creamy it's also sexy but it's a very enveloping very cozy, very comforting warm vanilla fragrance you guys vanilla oud it is as much sexy as it is cozy and comforting in my opinion this is date night worthy netflix and chill it's just a very enveloping smelling fragrance in my opinion and i think this is a beautiful perfume to wear during the winter months so this is vanilla oud by kayali next up we have bianco latte by giardini di toscana you guys and this perfume has been taking the internet by storm still and essentially this is a warm sweet powdery caramel latte with some vanilla and some musk a milky essence to it it is sweet and very musky it's definitely very musky because that kind of like mellows out the sweetness in this perfume i do find this fragrance to be quite sweet but not overly you know um you know not old, not sickly sweet but it is very sweet but it smells so musky and you know um powdery and comforting all at the same time this perfume lingers on your jacket for days and it smells absolutely beautiful the dry down is where it's most you know comforting and sweet it makes you feel like smelling yourself you know this is the fragrance that you wear when you're wearing your big bird teddy or your, or your mickey mouse disney loungewear at home and you douse yourself in this fragrance douse your skin and your jacket and you just cuddle up on the sofa and perhaps you know you're drinking a caramel latte with even some marshmallows on the top it's that much comforting and enticing to smell you guys this is a beautiful smelling perfume that i definitely think is very 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 cozy it is quite sweet so definitely it wears beautifully during this time of the year any other time of the year i think that sweetness might be a little bit much for you but during this time of the year it's a beautiful fragrance to wear you guys so this is a bianco latte by giardini di toscana next up we have commodity gold plus you guys and i know a lot of people find the commodity milk plus to be very comforting for me i found the commodity gold to be a lot more cozy and warmer and a bit more powdery this fragrance is a spicy ambery woody fragrance that dries down a little bit smoky and powdery there is something in this perfume that it goes on like um it goes on with a light sweetness there is some vanilla in here so it goes on with a light sweetness you definitely get that very very prominent note of saffron it smells powdery smoky woody and ambery 
it smells quite strong because when you spray the perfume it you know it comes off quite light but as it settles on the skin it kind of intensifies the woodiness in here so intensifies and then it still goes to the dry down stage where it goes really powdery and almost musky it doesn't list that note of musk in here so but how how light and fluffy this fragrance dries down it comes off like a musky essence mixing with a smoky vibe very comforting fragrance it kind of like it's a very nostalgic fragrance in my opinion it kind of takes you back in a way but all i know is i find it to be very cozy and very very comforting it smells like um burning wood but when you out the wood and you know the light smoke just going up into the ear and a cold winter's night that's the vibe that i get from this beautiful fragrance i think this is an absolutely beautiful scent to wear during the winter season so this is commodity gold plus next up we have dolce and gabbana's devotion you guys and this perfume of course it opens up with a citrusy a lemon you know kind of vanilla pound cake essence in my opinion but in the dry down, it goes down to the most warm, creamy, sweet, intoxicating vanillic essence. And that's the sweet spot in this beautiful perfume that makes it very, 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 very comforting. The open of this scent is very, um, is very invigorating because of the citrusy, you know, candied lemon essence very invigorating but when it goes down to the warm that warm creamy scent it's the most beautiful and comforting you know part of this fragrance you guys i'm going you know i'm gonna say to you guys the more and more i smell this perfume the more i'm kind of loving the angles of this scent when i spray this perfume just now i got a very bright citrusy and lemon essence with a sweetness to it and then again when it gets to the dry down that lemony essence does slip away and you're left with a very warm ambery sweet vanilla it is scrumptious you guys this is indeed a very beautiful smelling fragrance you guys so i definitely think this is a cozy scent to wear during the winter season so this is devotion by dolce and cabana next up we have amir al oud on okay and you guys already know this is a burnt brown sugary smoky woody sweet woody essence that after calamat oh my god you can't go wrong this just smells like a hog it smells like sweater weather it smells intoxicating it smells addictive it smells sweet it smells comforting there's a nice zing to it like a like a smoky burnt again a burnt sugary vibe but it's coming off like a fire it comes out it comes off really smoky in here so that makes this perfume even more intoxicating of course with that sweet vanilla in here so it's a beautiful concoction from Latafa again you guys you cannot go wrong with this beautiful scent on a cold winter's night this is a beautiful most comforting cozy addictive smelling fragrance so this is amir al oud intense by latafa next up is a fragrance i have been raving about all fall winter but excuse me what i rave about this beautiful scent one more time i'm talking about french coffee by al we have a beautiful warm coffee caramel latte sweet milky vanilla essence if i love this perfume one more time like this is a fragrance the scent of this perfume you could just fill up a bathtub with this scent and just like just sit in it just you know cover yourself in, in this liquid you guys this perfume smells so good it smells so cozy it smells so comforting it smells edible it's a sexy cozy warm comforting gourmand fragrance you guys french coffee smells so damn good you guys this perfume smells so good and of course on a winter night you know what i actually don't drink coffee okay i don't drink coffee because of the effect that coffee has on me coffee makes me a little bit lightheaded woozy and it kind of makes me feel like i'm like you know like falling in slow motion it's a very strange feeling and i've tried it three times to confirm that it wasn't just in my head it literally gives me palpitation but i went to the hospital with my mom once for a doctor appointment and the nurse gave us a beautiful warm cup of coffee and it was like a light coffee it was the most comforting and beautiful cup of coffee i have ever drank in my life okay so i know i get the rave when it comes to coffee i just can't my heart can't take it but coffee on a cold winter's night is 
everything and more you guys so this is french coffee by al rehab next up we have Orchid Eva Neal by Van Cleef and Arpels. And this is a warm, boozy, sweet, vanilla, and chocolatey smelling perfume. It is a very sweet scent, you guys. Okay. Very sweet and cozy. You get that light essence of the chocolate in here. So mixing with that vanilla. There is some tonka bean, rose. There are some fruity elements in here. So, but what reigns is a boozy, sweet, intoxicating vanilla chocolate essence. It is a very sweet perfume, but sweet as much as it is boozy. It's a very interesting scent, in my opinion. Beautiful perfume to wear during the fall and winter. This is a cozy perfume to be worn out, okay? This doesn't put me in the mind of cuddling up in bed. This is a fragrance that you wear out on the tongue, you know, out for dinner. This is a fragrance that you wear. Perhaps you're going to the movies on a really cold night. Orchid Vanille is a scent that is ideal for a night out on those cold winter nights, you guys. Beautiful perfume that wears lovely, projects quite decent, definitely smells like a hug because it definitely like, creates a cloud around you when you're wearing this beautiful scent but it's a scrumptious smelling fragrance you guys so this is orchid vanille by van cleef and arpel so there you have it you guys these are my top 10 cozy warm sweater weather comforting smelling fragrances to pull for during the winter during those cold winter nights you guys i do hope you guys enjoy these selections let me know what the temperature is like where you guys are at and what fragrances you guys are pulling for to quench you know that bitter cold weather you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if in fact you did please give me a very big thumbs up if you guys are new here please don't leave without hitting that subscribe button i still have a target to hit i'm trying to hit the 5,000 target it is far but near <laughs> So by all means, do support me on my journey to 5,000 and beyond because I do intend to, you know, hit a different target, right? As soon as I, as soon as I hit my 5,000 target, I have another target after that. But yes, do support your girl on her YouTube journey. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time I upload. And for those of you who are my returning subscribers, thank you guys for your continuous love and support. And until next time, see you guys in my very next video. Bye.